surveillance video was obtained by the S from the SIU Police Department. Sergeant Chad Bates says these sort of accidents happen much more than you'd expect. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that nearly 30% of pedestrian crashes are caused by distractions. Why did the student cross the road? To get to the other side, of course. I've almost been hit quite a few times. Okay. I have definitely almost been ran over a couple times on campus. Crossing the street on SIU's campus can prove dangerous in crosswalks just like these, especially when these come into play. You drive around campus and you see heads buried in the cell phones as, as uh, students are walking. People are tap, tap, tapping away on cell phones, meaning they are not paying attention to where they're going. SIU swim team member James Dooley was hit on campus two weeks ago. To do your due diligence as a pedestrian, whether bicyclist or not, as a pedestrian, to make sure that oncoming traffic has the ability to stop. Dooley was cited at fault in the accident. Sergeant Bates says that the speed limit on campus is 20, so vehicles have time to stop. Most of the time while I'm driving, a lot of the students here too don't use the crosswalks. Mm -hmm. And so there may be a crosswalk two feet away from them, but they'll still just walk in the middle of the road. Not only are pedestrians distracted, so are drivers. So a lot of the cars are like, well, I want to go. And then, but there's a crosswalk right there. I'll start walking and then we'll just drive. Student Ashley Phelps, who was involved in a pedestrian crash on campus, says that you really have to think for the other person. If you're in the street or the sidewalks, like you need to watch out because you have no idea what other people, you kind of have to think for other people. You don't know if this person is about to dart out or make this left or continue straight. You really have to pay attention. I don't think they do that enough. For WSIU's River Region Evening Edition, I'm Colin Dorsey.